I've got a very interesting case. Let's go take a look. What kind of case? It's a mystery case. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? Maybe I'll have mom share the story. Would that be good? Okay. What's been the sequence of events of how, how he so, uh, presented? Last September. Was it last Saturday or? 10 days ago. 10 days roughly. ago. 10 yeah. days ago, we took him in. Or, no, he started out with a um, fever and sore throat. Okay. And so we just thought it was just a flu, nothing else. And then we waited four days. And then after that, we took him into urgent care and. Um, they tested him for strep. Yeah, and swabbed, had, his throat, swabbed his wasn't throat, strap. wasn't strep, and they sent out for culture just to make sure gotcha. and it still wasn't. Um, Did they see anything in his throat, do you remember? They saw um, little red spots. A little tiny spot. Um, okay. So they thought like virus or something. And yeah. then after that, he's had the sore throat, but it kind of went away. Um, the fe they told us to give ibuprofen and the fever's gone away. Okay. Um, and then yesterday, it came back. Um, the fever did? Yeah, the fever came back. Um, lost right. the appetite and these spots and okay. the throat. Yeah. All right, well, I have got my handy dandy uh, throat scope. This, this is really a, a cool tool mm -hmm. we can use to take a good look at your throat. So it's like my magic saber, <laughs> saber light. So I'm going to kind of take a look at your throat and I can already see you've got a, what's called a geographic tongue, which is that sort of markings on your tongue. But if you look at the back of your throat, see a big stick of tongue out and say, ah. Way in the back there, you see that spot? Are you able to get it, Noah? Yes, sir. Okay. Hold it as long as you can. Sure, you're doing great. Uh, excellent work. So we have an ulcer that's almost a centimeter across on the left tonsil, tonsillar pillar, just to the left of the uvula. Try one more big, ah, excellent, super. That's great. Sometimes, well, when I get very hot, I throw, I throw up. Do you? Yep. Hi, folks. We are teaming up with Throat Scope. I love this product. It really makes it easy to look at the throat. You can even look at other things, as you saw in this video. Kids just love this thing as a lightsaber, uh, multi-use tool. Anyway, love the Throat Scope. Get yours in the description. You can order yours. Use Dr. Paul, D-R-P-A-U-L, and you'll get a 10% discount. And we appreciate the help. It supports the channel, and uh, it's an awesome tool. You were showing me some of your some of your rash. Oh, there's a whole cluster of them on your foot, on your ankle there. So there's a little red ring with a slight raised center on there. And I've got, right here. I've got some more. This one was yesterday, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You got some more there. And there's you one. Hold on, long enough for me hold again. on, longer. Thank you, sir. You can hold a little further back. And one. Okay. And one here. One on your shoulder. Oh yeah, look at that. And then we'll show your left, your right ear which turned red today, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So there you can see that ear. And it's a little bit warm. A little bit warm to touch. And this. And you got a little spot. Yep, just to the mm -hmm. edge of your eye. Point. Does it? Yeah. Now the interesting thing was, let's take that sock off. See there, there's a little spot on his foot. And a couple more spots over here. Little spots in that one there. So I'm sure the viewers are wondering, what the heck is it? When I hear sore throat and fever, I think strep, but he was already tested for strep, it was negative. And then when we looked in his throat, you saw that ulcer. That's not what strep looked like. That's either a Coxsackie virus, or a herpes family virus, or even a varicella, chicken pox, could give you if, it, if you had a lesion in the throat. So then I got curious about the rash that was on his body. Could that be chicken pox? Chicken pox will start with a real, little red dot and then it gets super itchy 
fluid in it and it cracks open. We don't have any crusted open lesions, probably not chicken pox. And the clue came right here, folks. That's the deciding clue because when you have throat lesions and you have foot lesions, sometimes you'll have hand lesions. Anything on your hands? Oh, there's one right here. Oh, there you go. So, folks, we have hand, we have foot, and we have, say, a uh, mouth. Okay, I rest my case. Hand, foot, and mouth. That oral lesion is way more significant than usual for hand, foot, and mouth, but I'm 99% sure that's what we're dealing with. Uh, those of you who had already guessed it, good job. Big thumbs up for this amazing yeah. star patient. Can I ask a question? Yes. But when I've walked very slow because this hurts me and it hurts like right here. But it hurts with bone pains. When I walk, I walk very slow. You've been walking slow? Yeah. Well, the good news is this is going to get better in the next couple mm -hmm. weeks. Will my bones get better? Definitely. Right they will definitely get better. Here's your sock. It's like every time I put outside, the bones go. You know, I know. I'm guessing in another week you're going to be feeling almost 100%. Yep. If for some reason I'm wrong and you're another week or two out and you're having worse problems, definitely mm -hmm. come back. Because every once in a while we've got something unusual that happens. And so we don't want to miss that. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's just getting a little film of your ear, which is kind of cool. So anyway, you did a really good job. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, maybe you've got something you'd like to tell all your fans on YouTube. You have any anything you want to share with them? Well, well, what, well, well, what, what, sometimes when I, I, I throw, I throw up when I get nervous. Okay. Like I sweat very bad. You sweat and get nervous and throw up? Yeah. Good job on not throwing yep. up in the middle of the night. Yep. Yep, I, I, I was just... I was just, um, I, I didn't throw up in the middle. Thumbs up, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Guaranteed. Every time. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I need to cough. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We got you coughing. <laughs> Dr. Paul here.